Well, our, our clients have kept a, a very healthy appetite. Obviously, there's a lot of uncertainty and volatility in global markets, and, and that affects people's macro outlook out here. But our clients really are in it for the, the long term, and they want to keep putting money to work throughout the, the economic cycle. Um, so times like this, uh, you know, they, they, they're, they're still in there. They, they are looking for opportunities, uh, actually, that, that flow from that kind of uncertainty. Um, in fact, this year it's, it's been a somewhat unusual experience for me. A lot of the, the deals, at the, at the point that they come to us, uh, the, uh, the email that attaches the draft term sheet also attaches a very advanced draft of a prospectus, uh, indicating that uh, it's, it's, it's one of these deals that was uh, pulled before an IPO and is now looking for private equity money. So it's a good opportunity for them. Uh, anything consumer related, both consumer goods and anything uh, driven by uh, increasing consumer demand in China, um, the, the growing middle class, uh, that in terms of medium to long term prospects uh, is, uh, is viewed as a, as, as a good bet. Um, things related to the food supply chain, to uh, health care, all the things that uh, people are going to be spending more and more money on uh, in China as time goes on. Um, and our clients have continued to be interested in opportunities in the financial services sector. As long as I've been involved in uh, private equity in China, people have complained about valuations, um, but they've also made a lot of money uh, at the end of the day. So um, valuation is a, is a relative concept. I think, you know, that's another reason why uh, our clients view downturns as uh, an opportunity to invest because at least it tempers expectations uh, in terms of valuation somewhat. Although it's always the experience that um, there's a lag between uh, overall economic declines and uh, entrepreneurs being, being really to uh, compromise on the expectations that they've built up for, for valuation. There are still a lot of deals to go around, and uh, often the renminbi funds will work together with uh, private equity players. There, there aren't so many of them that are focused also on the larger deals. There's probably more competition for the smaller deals and the, the middle market type deals. But you know, the, this kind of competition uh, helps the foreign players sort of focus on what it is really that they do best, what they can provide that uh, may be more difficult for the local industry to provide. Due diligence is a challenge, I think in particular FCPA and other anti-corruption uh, due diligence is an enormous headache for us every deal that we do. With the way that the enforcement environment has developed in the U.S., uh, all of the, the funds are upping their game in terms of compliance requirements uh, for FCPA-related due diligence, and uh, it's something that uh, always leads to uh, tension and misunderstandings with uh, the Chinese entrepreneurs.